Okay, let me show you a way to, to use uh, Ohm's Law a little easier to solve for circuit problems. So here we have a circuit that has three resistors, each of them labeled with their resistance, and a 12 volt battery. And we want to know what the current is through each of those resistors. The current through resistor one, resistor two, and resistor three. So let me show you a quick way to organize things and uh, hopefully make it a little easier for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something that we call a ver square. So what we do is we just lift the voltage, current, and the resistance, and we're going to make a chart out of that. And we have to list each resistor, resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, and a total. We're just making a chart out of that. And then we're going to fill in what we already know. So if we go back here, we know that the total voltage is 12 volts, and then we know the resistance of each of the resistors. So we're going to fill that into our chart. So the total voltage was 12 volts, and then we know the resistance of resistor 1 is 1,000 ohms. Of resistor 2, that's 3,251 ohms. And then of the resistor 3 is 2,785 ohms. So we already know all those. Now, also on this chart, I'm going to mark what we're looking for. So what I do is I take and I just color in a corner of the square that we're looking for. So we're looking for the current through each of those resistors. So if I find each of those three squares, then I've got my answer. Now the trick or the thing that makes the ver square nice, let me get rid of these, is the way we can move around it. So first of all, to move back and forth in any of these rows. In other words, to find a value in one of the other columns, all we do is use Ohm's law. V equals I times R. We just rearrange it for whatever we need. But now the real nice thing is how we move up and down in a column. So we have an A. We have an S and we have an A over the top of each one of those. So A means here over the voltage that I take resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, add those values of the voltage up and they should equal the 12 volts. That's what A means. It means that column adds to a total. With the current S, that I, that S over the top means it's the same. That means every number in that column is the same. There's no change. Once I find one box in that, I found the whole entire column. And then in the resistor, resistance column, this A up here, just like the S and the A, that A means to add it up. It means I take resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3, and I add them up. So now we know how to move up and down and back and forth in this chart. So I think what I can do is, I think if I get this total resistance, I can use that total resistance, I can then get this current, and then if I get that current, then I know all the rest of these currents. So let's do that. So the first thing we're going to do is get our total resistance. So if you remember, that column adds to a total, or it's just that the formula for finding a resistance in series is the resistance total is resistor 1 plus resistor 2 plus resistor 3. So that means the total resistance is 1,000 ohms plus 3,251 ohms plus 2,785 ohms. And if we add all those up together, see 1,000 plus 3,251 plus 2,785 is 7,036 ohms. So now we know that one. So let's go back. We'll put that in. We said it's 7,036 ohms. Okay, so now I'm going to look for that current. Well, if I know the current, I know Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V 
equals i times r. If I'm looking for i, I divide both sides by r. And that tells me that i is v divided by r. So that means i is the 12 volts for the total. Because remember, these are all totals here. So this is the total current equals the total voltage over the total resistance. And the total resistance is 7,036 ohms. So if I divide those, that's 0 0.0017 amps. So I know that this is point, point 0 0.0017. So now I know that whole entire column. So that's 0 0.0017, 0 0.0017, 0 0.0017. So I know them all. So I have my answers. So I can just come back here and I can say that the current, the current through resistor 1 is 0 0.0017 amps. The current through resistor 2 is 0 0.0017 amps. And the current through resistor 3 is 0 0.0017 amps. So that makes it really easy for me to, to find out the values. Now, there's another thing that makes it very nice also. If I go back here. I don't have to do this, but I can check my answer. Because what I can do is I can find each of these voltages and make sure that they add up to that 12. So let's do that. Let's show you how to do that because that's the way I can check my answers. So again, we'll go over here and I'm just going to use Ohm's law because I'm moving back and forth in that chart. V equals I times R. So the voltage across one was I times R. So I for all of them, 0, 0, 0017 amps times 1000 ohms for two. And again, the same current times 3,251 ohms. And for three is 0 0.0017 again times 2,785 ohms. So now I just multiply those out. That should be 1.7 volts. This should be 5.5 volts. And this should be 4.7 volts. Now I'm just going to add those up to check at 1.7 plus 5.5 plus 4.7 gives me 11.9. So now if I go back to my chart, just go back to my chart quickly here, and I have that my total voltage here, when I add them up, is 11.9. Remember I had 1.7, 5.5, and 4.7. So it comes out to be 11.9. That's pretty good. That checks us out. That makes us feel confident. That makes me feel confident that my answers are right here because everything works out. That makes it easy. I'll give you another video to show you how to do it with parallel.